Hey everyone, this is Janet. Um, it's been a while since I've been able to um, connect with you um, and all the Team Janet supporters out there. Thank you so much um, for all the drives that are being held right now. To be honest with you, the last time that I actually um, updated you was when I was in the hospital and I had no idea that video would reach so many people um, and go on Reddit. I, I had no intention or even any thoughts that it would get that far. Um, so thank you so much um, to everyone who has taken the initiative to spread the word. I'm really, um, really fortunate to have a support system like all of you out there. Since I last updated everyone, I've been in the hospital for about 39 days and we went through a very, very intensive round of chemotherapy that was actually reminiscent of my first round of chemotherapy um, induction. And this round is expected to actually put me into my second remission so that I'm ready for my transplant. But unfortunately, I found out um, after going through a temporary checkup with my doctors, um, the hospital, that we actually didn't kill very much of the leukemia. We got through about half of it and there's still a lot of it left. Enough that I'm actually not ready for a transplant. Um, and so that's been sort of the bad news that I've heard from my doctor that the chemotherapy um, didn't really work as they had expected and that my relapsed leukemia is more resistant than we thought. Unfortunately, I have to go through three to four more rounds of chemotherapy with um, a new combination of drugs that my doctors and my team are trying to set up and it will be methotrexate, um, decadron, asparaginase, and vincristine. Uh, these medicines will be um, administered as an outpatient, so the good news is that I don't have to be in the hospital for them. The bad news though is that it is quite extended and so I will have to receive more chemotherapy that will weaken my body again over time and endure more side effects. But the good news of all this though is that I think we have more time for me to find my donor match. We still haven't found one yet, um, even with all the drives that have been conducted. Um, I know that everyone on my team and every one of you out there is working very hard on finding me one. So our ex new expected transplant date is approximately June, so sometime in the summer. Um, I'm hoping that we'll finally get that perfect match and then I can go through with the transplant and get better and be in remission and be cured from this illness. So um, I just wanted to update you all. Um, I just want to leave you hanging and hopefully you'll hear more from me soon. Everyone take care and um, please keep holding drives. Please keep up the good work um, and thank you.